Hello and welcome to Train Sim TV. Today we're fighting again, but with a LNER Azuma. Uh, this is a scenario from the Creators Club. I have no idea how it's going to turn out or go. Uh, I've never driven the the 800 on diesel either, but let, let's see what happens. So, uh, an LNER service has just entered Cacoldi from Aberdeen and is bound for London King's Cross. You have been given the task to take the service from Cacoldi to Edinburgh, Waverley, Cullinger, in for Keithing and Haymarket before continuing on to London. Right, it's not an 800, it's an 801, let me get that right. Um, <clears throat> we've got a mod on the route as well. It's um, one that's uh, been surfacing around for a few days now. It's the Five Circle uh, Revamp. It's from um, two well-known modders, uh, Beskut and Rob S. Uh, I'll go through what the actual mod does. Um, it does some bits and pieces of the 170 along with the route. Uh, not massive updates by any means, but uh, quite substantial in terms of the visuals. Anyway, let's get started. So, hit the queue. I hope I don't have to do anything to make this diesel. Because <laughs> that'll be that'll be our barrel the last one, won't it? I don't have a clue what I'm doing. PPWS and AWS operational. Hmm. Hey, it knows where we are. Look at that. That'll be the um, smart PIS, I presume. That's cool. Excellent. Right. So straight away, this mod. It's um if you look at the trap ballast, that's one of the changes. It's a more prototypical ballast for the area. It's a bit more of a more of a pinky colour. Looks a lot better. Uh, another one as well is um there's a mod part of this pack that's um added better shaders to the foliage so you've got more variation in tree colour. Same with the grass as well, it does some stuff like that. And if um you go down the mod page, there's uh, a couple of lines to put in your ini file, uh, which basically makes the grass uh, not popping. If you watched my last video, you'll have uh, seen that I was on about that. <clears throat> so it's uh, that's a nice thing to see. Right. I hope this moves. <laughs> that's the big thing. Will this move without me having to do anything? My God, it moves. Bear in mind, this is now not running on the OHLE. This is running on the backup. I think this is running on the backup diesel. I don't know how fast I will be able to go with this, but it's something different. And I like the 170, but I wanted to have a little drive with it. I just, no, I think it's sparking above the pantograph every moment. I don't know why it is. I think. <laughs> hey, well, never mind. It's something different. Apparently, we can go over 60, so that's good. We're all right. Anyway, 10 miles to the next station, apparently. As we're passing Wraith uh, ground. The Wraith Rovers. So, yeah, it, it just, just visually. It, by, all, by any stretch of the means, this route's still not perfect. <laughs> but this mod, at least, uh, I look at it as like a, a sort of a cab experience. If you're actually going to stay in the cab, it actually doesn't look bad. Um, the grass is there now. It's not popping in, and there's some more different uh, colours in the, in the foliage um, and the ballast of course is um, upgraded so if, you, if, you, if you're going to stay in this and just sit in the cab it ain't actually that bad it's when you obviously get out and fly around it starts getting a little bit uh, road people I, I drove this with the 170 the other day and I actually enjoyed it I didn't find it horrible at all I actually thought with this model it actually made it um, rather bearable so I do recommend that you go and download this and uh, put it on there. It's definitely a stopgap until uh, hopefully Rivet come along and do some upgrades. And, they, and they're actually updating this mod all the time. It's had a few upgrades since it first came out. I think it's on like version 9 already. Something like that. Or nine, nine different changes anyway. If iterations. <clears throat> but um, basically, it doesn't do anything to the timetable or anything like that. The visual side of things. So, um, swap of the vegetation. It swaps the trap ballast. And um, we thanks to Rob S for the donation of those textures. Um, the bagpipes they've been removed. There's a little mod in there for that as well. If you wish, that's an optional thing. You don't have to have that taken out if you don't want to. I think I've still got it in actually. I don't mind them. 
some people obviously find them annoying. But to now it doesn't bother me to be fair that. Slow this down a little bit. Um there's also it's had a merge. There's a merge with Edinburgh Glasgow that's done done this. It'll work for the timetable in the editor, but you can't drive there in free roam unless um, basically the, uh, the modders have fixed some things. So that looks like things could come down the line, maybe, I don't know. Um, there's been some sound updates to remove the clicks and pops from the cab audio of the 170. Uh, remove the dependency of South Eastern High Speed. Um, I'm presuming that they must have used that as a requirement for something at one point. I'm not sure what. Did some Polish stuff or something like that. Uh, what else have we got here? So there's some further updates to the Class 170 internal audio, with thanks to Dan slash GBRF six six one seven one five for supplying some new authentic in cab buzzer sounds. Another rebalance of internal audio also, so that there isn't such a difference between the windows open and the closed volumes. Um, goes on to say that he found uh, compared with the train sims in game internal audio was really quiet uh, and then finally the latest um, changed PS announcement chime on the one uh, to a 170 version and removed the big gap between the chime and the start of the announcements when I did the last video by the way uh, we didn't have many announcements in the actual audio of the video when I drove later on again off away from recording I actually did have a lot more announcements weirdly although they didn't seem to appear for all stations but they seem to be there a bit more in other aspects it's weird whether they're working as and when they please I don't quite know this was quite nice look at that that might make a nice um, thumbnail actually that uh, let me get rid of all So just look at, I mean, looking at that, get rid of the uh, stuff. It looks a lot nicer. You can see the, you can see the different colours in the grass. So it's, it's now using with this mod, it's using the uh, the shaders off um, some of the newer routes, which is a big uh, a big yes. Another thing you can see is that the, the difference in the colours of the trees and the bushes as well. There's a bit more variety in there as well. Um, they just look nicer all round. But uh, the big thing is, if you put the uh, the line into your any mod, you can see the grass actually goes a lot further in distance as well. So yeah, it's uh, it's a recommendation um, if you are using this on the PC because it does make it a lot better. And I'm just going to try and size that up with that trim on the right side. We'll use this I think for the uh, for the thumbnail. I think. Works quite nicely. I could cool drive the uh, Yuzuma. Now, I believe this. I think this scenario has been done with off the rails because obviously, I think if you've done it without off rails, you're only going to run on the emergency. I think that might limit you on speed of what you can do. I think it just feels a lot brighter as well, which is really nice. A lot more vivid and colourful. Obviously, since the route's released, it's been out about a week or so now, uh, about around then almost. So we obviously have had a video out. We've had a lot of comments about the route. Um, I think it's a bit of a mixed bag. Some people I've seen are getting it just so they can really get the 170 at least at the end of the day. And uh, some other people are waiting for a sale. Some are waiting just to wait and see if Rivet do updates. Um, it is a mixed bag, but he has got a mixed... Uh, Base and comments so as I say I don't think it's one of them where it's unplayable I mean I've driven it a good few times I've driven it a few times away from stream well, I haven't streamed it yet but I haven't, uh, I've been driving it off off air from videoing and stuff as well and overall it's, it's still a nice drive so leave that to your choice and, uh, and your will right but uh, that's my thoughts anyway and I need to sort my speed now here because I'm just flooring it around like I don't care. Uh, this is Burnt Island. So obviously because we're not doing many stops, this it's quite a quick drive. 
you know, because it's obviously it's a fast service. Something I would like to properly see is um, obviously the 800, uh, like the Azuma series, where you can obviously drive as proper diesel. Especially with stuff like this, it'd be it'd be nice to have. And properly in time table. What I did notice was when we did the video last, and we were at um, Edinburgh, picture back to that 800, 801, what was leaving, and it was really, really slow and screeching. I'm presuming that is probably not properly set up to drive on there. I don't understand why it was screeching. I have also noticed that there is a scenario that does run up part of the other line, um, which I'm probably going to do. It's, I think it's called Railway Rubbish. I think it's one where you pick up the basically and collect rubbish. I think DDG streamed that scenario. That enables to do um, some driving up through Dunfermline. However, <clears throat> I'm presuming if we were to drive the full part of the line, we'd have to do something with um, free roam. I don't think there's any services that go along the whole top at this moment in time. So what I'll probably do is just find something. I'll just drum, drop a train down. We'll probably just drive over the top of it just to look at it at some point. I'm still being ignorant to the speedboards. I just don't care. Quite a busy period as well in terms of trains and TV videos. Um, as you've seen, there's all sorts been coming out. There's still stuff that's in the uh, in the pipeline to come. Um, got some wagon packs to video from trains in Rolling Stock um, probably coming up after this. Um, We'll be back on this route because, as I say, there is still the top part of the line to do something on. So keep your eye out for that. And just whatever else I can get my hands on, really. There's there's just so much stuff at the minute. It's, it's busy all around. Hopefully it won't be much longer be, like, to wait for the flirt as well from ATS. I, I noticed... Um, on the ATS Facebook page, um, there was a there was a post about the Great Eastern Main Line um, update upgrade sort of route that they've been doing for a good while. Um, that's in sort of its major final phase of testing. That sounds of it. So, fingers crossed, we might get that, and we might get the flirt at the same time. So we could be uh, very much looking at some more stock again very soon as well. Um, it's, a, it's quite a busy period, really. Um, obviously, with currently at the time of recording this, it's the Easter holidays. Um, there's been sales on here, there and everywhere. I've purchased the Cloud EP, finally. I've also bought 317 Volume 2 uh, in the cell. Only because the Greatest and Main Line is coming soon. So I thought I'll get that ready in that. And it was quite cheap because I already had Volume 1. So rather than it being 1999 um, because I owned one of the packs. Or was it Volume 3? I can't remember. One or the other. Um, it actually made it 1199 So it was even cheaper. So... I thought I couldn't really not get it at the time. So, yeah, I've got that as well. I've got all sorts. I might even do a video with that, to be fair, just to fill, uh, just to get some stuff out. Even though it's been out a while, it's my first look, if you will. I won't, I won't, it won't be a first look. It'll just be a general, general video or such. But, um, get stuff out there. Why not? So look, at, just look at this now. Just look how different this looks. From the, just in a cab, a simple cab view video. The visuals look so much nicer. There's a lot more variety. 
which is the the main thing I like with this. And just one thing to stress as well that the mod that um, Beskut and Robas have done is not something that's meant to be a full-on EP like they've done with other routes. This is purely just to assist the route a little bit more. Um, they don't want to do basically rivets work for them. Quite rightly so, they shouldn't have to do um, a mainstream developer's work for them um, at the end of the day. This is just to help the route along and just make it a bit more visually um, pleasing for the user. It's a shame it can't be put on consoles, but um, if you're a PC user, definitely check down below in the description. The link is there for this pack. No, it's going for, I think it's Dalgetty Bay, I think, is this one? I think. It is. I think the key thing is uh, the next station along. We're not that far. We've got the junction uh, coming up in a minute. And I think it's then straight through to uh, Haymarket, I think it said. And then um, Edinburgh Waverley. 1A. I should slow down properly for this as well and do a proper um, do a proper speed limit, shall we, for a change. Instead of just storming around everywhere like um, a fresh merchant. I've got to say, though, that the, the change in the ballast definitely does complement this route nicely as well. I mean, the, it's the proper, proper colour for the area. He said he was going to get down speeding time. I'm still speeding. Not so bad. If you were to give marks out of uh, 10 for my driving, please put them below. Ah, not, not being awful, obviously. 10 being great. I don't expect to see a 10. <laughs> this has been nothing, nothing anywhere near a 10. Not a bad stop, though. That actually knows where we're stopping. It's rather clever, to be fair, that it knows. A train that was built before this route come out, it knows what you're doing and where you're going. Very clever how it's been set up. Looks right at home on this route. We need a proper buy mode version now. Going over the fourth. Well, you can go into your eight cam and go a nice distance away from the bridge. <laughs> After the little boo boo that I made last, uh, on the last video. Then you couldn't. It's my own stupidity that was. My own silly fault. Pressing one button. 
You're on camera mode. I think it sounds better than 170 now when you go past it. I think the mob's done something to me when you pass the AI. It doesn't make weird noises. And also, it seems busier than a normal timetable. But right, so I'm glad I've done this because there's more trains. I believe this doesn't have 385s though, just because obviously with that being a requirement, it means people need more stuff to drive this. So we just use the 170s. I don't expect a very busy um, scene on the uh, electrified lines, but at the end of the day, it's just something a bit different. It is fun in this part of the road. I just find this this bit has had so much work done to it. Just, it's a shame that the other parts of the route didn't quite reflect that's been what like what's been done here because this is absolutely breathtaking, really. And it does look fantastic in the game. I'm just flying across like this is just nice. <laughs> Apparently, um, the mastery does something around here. Um, I'm not sure if it's it puts some dolphins or some sharks or something in the water. Just see it train the distance, it's just <laughs> it's LOD and out, but uh, we'll get back in. I'm not sure if I was speeding over that. No, I wasn't speeding. My god, I was doing the right speed. And to be fair, we have just been coasting over the top, so. I'm always sure as well, I might have the sound mod on for the 801. Can't be quite certain on that though, but there may well be. I know there was a mod flying around, but I can't remember if I've installed it or not. I will double check actually after I've done this video. Now there is scenery down that line, to the right. I've flown down there and it actually does have scenery all the way through. There's plans to do something down there at a later date, I don't know. It's, um... As you can see, this is the map with the route. Even though this mod does put a merge in with the other track, it doesn't show the map, but the base map has up to Linlithgow. Whether there's any plan to do something like that maybe when the 158 comes out, I don't quite know. Might bring something in. Another thing is as well, when we drove the vid on the uh, high speed part, um, there was an awful whirring 
off the 170. Uh, that apparently has been sorted in the update as well, like this little mod. I'm not going to hear that on this today, but when we come to drive it again, obviously you'll uh, you will notice that. And after have to get it got like 90 mile an hour plus, it started making some weird, really high pitch noises. This part of the ride just refused to look left and right because it just <laughs> it just doesn't look great. Definitely one of the areas that does need a lot of work. And I just hope to God that we get some uh, tram wires and stuff around the depot at the back of here. I'll say sit in the cab it feels lovely look sort of that in your uh, in your window vision your tunnel vision if you if you like is that what they call it um that don't see an issue with it at all with this mod at least anyway Definitely pass three trains on the first video, I don't think. <laughs> Worryingly busy. One thing this game needs to do is, is try and sort out the stuttering. That is one of the things it definitely needs to try and sort out. I still only think it became quite a quite a thing in Test W4. Only because we noticed it in Blackpool branches development. Just arrive at A Market. A Market is uh, depot on the left there.
board or close to it. <laughs> nah, not a bad stop again. We'll take it. Do they start the piano on this uh, room? Oh, they do. dance there <laughs> as you do thought the dance was quite good there then the mouse skills moving on <laughs> just to pass the time next and final stop is Waverly Something I want to look into as well is if you if you use a train to community, there's been a load of uh, announcements that have been added onto the site, and they use a a program that's on Steam, which I think is another a bit of an external thing where you plonk the uh, the announcements into it and you basically play them alongside the game. It looks quite good. Something to invest in, I think, at some point. That signal feel like it's never getting any closer, there we go. <laughs> it's that bright, it just seems to like be moving. It was definitely a missing speedboard there. It shows on the hub, but it doesn't show the track side. That one caught me out the other day when I drove a route. I was just driving it sort of leisurely. Whilst I was taking a look at this uh, enhancement mod. I can see the, the, the speed change further ahead, but it went against me earlier. Anyway, platform 1A. So, as I said, this is a scenario which came from the Creators Club. Um, I just searched Fife, and there weren't many scenarios at the time there, but it's basically the one with the uh, 801 picture. You wish to have a play with that. Can't remember who it's from, though, the, uh, whoever's done it. Uh, nice little scenario if you're watching the video. Um, just something else to do at the end of the day, so a bit of a change. Um, I'll put the enhancement again in the description as a link, so if you want to go and grab that if you're a PC user again if I go take a look I do recommend it um other than that thank you very much for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and hit your notification bell for future videos um catch on twitch on a Friday and Sunday at twitch.tv forward slash trainsim underscore tv but until next time thank you very much for watching and bye for now